Latin girls. Big hips, a little waist, tight bodies, caramel skin, has the flow, has the moves, sassy, saucy. Dating a Latin girl is a whole other experience, my friend. And I lived about a year in South America, in Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia, Costa Rica, and plenty of time in Miami. So I have a fair bit of experience in this area of Latina women, and I feel qualified to give you a few juicy tips, and that's what today's video is all about. Six tips for getting yourself a senorita chica with the hips that don't lie under your spell. Now, quick word of warning, it's not really fair or accurate to lump all Latina women together as you've got Latin girls who've lived in the USA all their lives and they've incorporated American culture. You have the Argentine women who are more stiff, shall we say, and German-like in their demeanor, and you've got the more easygoing Caribbean women who just love to dance to about anything. You have the more reserved women of the Andean mountain range, and in Brazil, everyone speaks Portuguese and not Spanish. I mean, we're talking about women across North America, Central America, South America, thousands of miles of territory, most of it not even connected by decent roads. It's a very big place. But if I had to pick just six tips to attracting Latin girls, I'd go with these. Number one, my friend, learn Spanish. Nothing will knock a Latina socks off more than when you speak a little bit of her home native tongue of Spanish. Even if she speaks English, it's just wildly cute for the girl to hear you speak Spanish in your North American or European accent. My top recommendation is to grab yourself Pimpsler. It's about 90 audio lessons. Each one is 45 minutes where you listen and then repeat and repeat, and it's a fast and fun way to learn Spanish. In fact, I can guarantee you that you're going to learn more Spanish doing Pimpsler one hour a day for 30 days than you did in all of high school. Another popular program is the Rosetta Stone. However, I recommend the Rosetta Stone if you are more of an intermediate and have completed the first 90 lessons of Pimpsler. So I highly recommend that you do Pimpsler first. Now don't be lazy about this. I think Americans in particular are very lazy about learning languages in part due to our shitty high school system where the teachers have no clue on how to quickly teach a language. But believe me, learning Spanish through Pimpsler is way more fun and 10 times faster than how you learned in school. So don't let your past experience intimidate you. But because so many guys are just straight up lazy about this point, if you learn a little bit of Spanish, you're going to stand out in a big way. Tip number two for winning over the Latin ladies is learning how to dance a little salsa. You don't need much, just the basic steps will suffice. You see, you don't need to be that good. What's important is that she sees you've made an effort and you know at least enough to get that girl out on the dance floor and get her into your arms. Just a little bit goes a long way and she will be impressed and you will stand out. You see, my friend, dancing is deeply infused into Latin culture, and if you take a Latina girl out on a date, dancing is a great way to make physical contact with her to create some comfort and amp up that attraction juice. So if you're serious about getting those Latin girls, spend the time and the money, my friend, to sign up for some group dancing classes. Tip number three for attracting the lovely Latin ladies colors. Here's the thing, my friend. When you visually stand out from the general population, you're going to catch that Latina girl's eye and look more attractive. It's just like a woman wearing a white dress in a sea of women wearing black dresses. She's going to visually stand out and look more attractive. Or a woman wearing a red dress in a sea of women wearing white dresses is also going to stand out. And so it goes with Hispanic girls. If you have blonde hair and blue eyes, you're going to stand out. You're going to have an advantage because those traits are relatively rare and represent genetic variation. So here's what you can do. Get some blonde highlights in your hair. Or if you're feeling even more daring, go blonde all together. You can also grab yourself a pair of cosmetic blue contacts to color your eyes. Is it fair that works? No, but does it work? Yes. So you can take advantage of that little hack or not. It's up to you. Tip number four for getting Hispanic girls, show ambition. Now let me explain exactly what I mean. Latin America is a region of the world that has one of the highest income disparities, and that means very few people at the top hold most of the wealth while everyone else gets by on relatively little. And men in that culture are typically expected to be the breadwinners. And because of those reasons, Latin girls value economic stability more than a lot of Western women do. Now, this does not mean that you should be whining and dining her. This does not mean that you need to be rich. This does not mean you need to be driving around an expensive sports car. You can get Latin girls being broke. 
But what it does mean is that you should dress well. Dress on a level above everyone else. Err on the side of overdressing. Just get yourself a couple nice pairs of really high-end clothes. Or when you're talking to that Latin girl, enthusiastically regale her about your ambitions, where you want to go in life, what you want to accomplish, or if you're well-traveled, show her pictures on your phone of the places you've been to, tell stories about them. The point is, just don't come across or look like a lazy bum or a scrub or a lovable loser. Tip number five for scoring with the luscious Latin ladies, Lead. Lead, 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 gentlemen. You must be leading. Yes, leading is very attractive to any girl, whether she's Hispanic or not, but with Latin girls, I place an even greater importance on leading. Hispanic women generally expect the man to lead at all times, from picking where you're going to eat, to what you're going to do, to paying, to making the moves, to keeping up the conversation. In North American and Northern European cultures, women have this idealistic notion that they're going to contribute half the effort. But to Latin women, they expect nearly all the effort to make things happen to fall on your shoulders as the man. So you need to step it up. You need to step up your game. You need to put your action-taking muscles into first gear and step on the gas. Good thing, bad thing, I don't know, but you've got to lead. That's just the way it is with Latin girls. So that about sums it up. Number one, learn Spanish through Pimpsler. Number two, learn the basic dance moves through taking a group dance class. Number three, shamelessly sport those blonde highlights and cosmetic contact blue eyes because it works. Number four, show ambition and dress on point. And number five, Lead, lead, lead. Okay, guys, six and final tip for winning over the Latin ladies. Latina women are very passionate and fiery, and the formula to their hearts lies in spiking her emotions and leading her on a roller coaster of feelings. How? By peppering your conversation with covert lines that spike up her attraction and hook her attention onto you. Simply watch this presentation right here for more on how to get that senorita Latina chica under your spell with the right lines. And being the gentleman that you are, do the gentlemanly thing and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, my friend, Jesse out.